So as most of you guys know, in pretty much all of my videos, we have a topic like a news story or a YouTuber doing something crazy. But today we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to go ahead and read some mean comments. So I went through like the past month on my channel and I just screenshotted eight or nine of the worst comments I could find. Also, just for clarification, don't take anything I say in this video seriously. I don't actually dislike these people because for some reason people take stuff like this seriously. I'm not sure why. Now, the first comment we're going to look at here comes from royalty who says i don't even feel sorry for how stupid you're about to look good luck you effing clown now i'm just kind of confused by this comment like this sounds like a threat how he says i don't even feel bad for how stupid you're about to look like i feel like i'm just about to be walking down the street and this dude's gonna jump me or something but he's gonna jump out of a bush in all camo and sneak attack me like i just want to know what's about to happen that's gonna make me look stupid can we get some clarification on that now moving on to the second comment here this one says disgusting idiot get a life and get off YouTube now according to this dude if you're on YouTube you are disgusting and don't have a life okay I just want to make that clear according to this guy that's the case here now correct me if I'm wrong but to make the comment he just made didn't he have to go on youtube.com didn't he have to watch my video on YouTube to say get a life and get off YouTube I mean according to this guy's own logic he also is disgusting has no life and needs to get off YouTube. Now, this next comment just kind of has me worried, if we're gonna be honest here. I feel like this next comment here is a national security threat. Now, for clarification, I made this video like two months ago about how Iran had just launched some kind of missile at a U.S. Army base, something like that. I can't, I can't exactly remember. But this dude commented saying, the U.S. needs to pay for the sins of the last 20 years. Let Iran be the ones to do it. And I still stand by my my reply here is this guy okay like what's going on here should i be sending this comment into the fbi like should i be worried here should i expect to see a predator missile outside my window sometime in the near future now this next comment i can only assume was left by somebody probably most likely under the age of seven because there is one period in this entire paragraph here and it is placed entirely incorrectly so i'm just gonna try my best to read this comment here and try and decipher what this cryptic coding means so this comment says when she dies period I just guess you're going to be like, how she didn't die, Jay Station's just making it up, I want you guys die, I don't want to hear it, Alexi was so nice and so sweet, but no if, what if she did die, when I, when she does that, <laughs> when I, when she does that, I don't want to hear you telling Jay Station or sorry, but you guys are making these videos so she didn't die, what is she, did you think about, about that, it's not you, just haters, so yeah, I don't want to hear it. Like, what do I even say to that? How do I respond to this comment? All I can really say here is please get off YouTube and do your English homework. Now, the next comment we're going to look at here, it started off completely normal but this unfortunately took the worst turn it could have so this guy just comments on my video he says hey I like the black ops 1 gameplay and this other guy replies saying he's playing against bots and I reply to this dude saying all my Call of Duty gameplays are against bots I'm not gonna go out there on pubs and get smacked around like a pinata now here's where this random dude named John Deegan comes in and says this game in quotation marks is why mass shootings are getting more prevalent kids are desensitized I kind of hope this guy's joking here but i'm pretty sure he's not i guess he's one of those people that thinks call of duty is some advanced war simulator you know you play one match of call of duty and all of a sudden you're a cold-blooded killer I i'm sure that's exactly how that works and lastly here's an honorable mention comment that almost made it in the video <laughs> anyways that's where i'm gonna wrap up this video don't forget to drop a like and subscribe if you're brand new to the channel as always you can follow me on twitter at sub to relax and other than that, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out.